Welcome to the Matrice 30 tutorial video. This video will show you how to install the propellers of Matrice 30. Applicable Scenarios To ensure flight safety, check the propeller status before takeoff. Replace the propellers immediately if they become damaged, cracked, or distorted. Select the appropriate propellers based on the altitude in your area. It is recommended to use normal propellers for altitudes below 3,000 meters or high-altitude propellers if flying above 3,000 meters. Make sure the aircraft is turned off before replacing the propellers. Unfolding the aircraft. Align the dotted line arc mark on the propellers with that of the motors. And do the same for the solid line arc mark propellers. Replacement of propellers for the front frame arm. Remove the screws propeller clamps, and propellers in sequence using an M2 hexagon screwdriver. Check the condition of the silicone pads. Replace the pads together if they are damaged. Verify the marks on the propellers and the motors. Install the silicone pads and propeller clamps. Replace with new screws. And tighten the screws with the addition of screw glue. Replacement of propellers for the rear frame arm. Turn the aircraft upside down. Do not press the upper night navigation light during this process to avoid damaging the light. Similarly, remove the screws, propeller clamps, and propellers, and replace the damaged pads. Note that the propeller mark should face down during the installation. Propeller check. After the replacement is complete, place the aircraft horizontally. Then, check the arc marks of the propellers in sequence to make sure that the marks are fully visible. Check whether the screws are loose during use. Tighten the screws if they protrude from the mounting holes of the propeller clamps. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the Matrice 30 tutorial video. The video will show you how to use the BS30 Intelligent Battery Station and TB30 Intelligent Flight Battery. Firmware Update Update with the app. Connect the battery station to the remote controller and power on the battery station. Open the DJI Pilot app, enter the Health Management System. Tap Firmware Update of Battery Station. Tap Update All. Wait for about 10 minutes to finish the firmware update. To update the firmware of multiple TB30 Intelligent Flight batteries, simply put these batteries into the battery station simultaneously, and then repeat the above steps. Tips Do not power off the battery station or disconnect the power line during the update process. Do not charge the battery during the update process. Functional Description The BS30 Intelligent Battery Station has multiple battery interfaces and can be installed with eight TB30 Intelligent Flight batteries and two WB37 Intelligent batteries. You can charge two TB30 batteries and one WB37 battery at the same time. Prior to use, mark two TB30 batteries and insert these batteries with the same marks into the battery station in a top and bottom manner. The battery station will charge the batteries successively by group. When many groups of paired batteries are charged at the same time, the battery station will charge the paired batteries with the most power first. If no batteries are paired, it will charge the two batteries with the most power first. When the power of the paired batteries is not the same, the battery station will charge the one with less power first. After these batteries show the same power level, the power station will charge the paired batteries. The battery station will automatically warm up a TB30 battery before charging if the temperature of the battery is below 10 degrees Celsius. When a WB37 battery is charged simultaneously, the TB30 battery charging time will be slightly prolonged. Charge Modes The battery station has three charge modes. Storage Mode, Ready to Fly Mode, and Standard Mode. In storage mode, the battery station will charge the batteries to 50% and then charge the next group of batteries. In ready to fly mode, the battery station will charge the batteries to 90% and then charge the next group of batteries. In standard mode, the battery station will charge the batteries to 100% and 
and then charge the next group of batteries. Tips. When charging TB30 batteries, you should toggle the charge mode switch to the desired mode first. In addition, the battery station comes with a regular USB port and a Type-C port to charge mobile devices such as the remote controller. Indicator signal display of the battery station. Tips. Refer to the operating instructions of the battery station for more information on the meanings of battery status indicators during the charging. Notes. Keep the battery station in a ventilated and normal heat dissipation environment during use. Please charge the batteries in a cool and dry place, away from high temperatures. Please keep the station dry, free of water, oil, and other liquids. Place the battery station on a flat and stable surface when in use. Make sure the device is properly insulated to prevent fire hazards. The BS30 Intelligent Battery Station is only suitable for charging TB30 batteries and WB37 batteries. Do not attempt to charge other models of batteries. Log Export Export with the app. Connect the battery station to the remote controller. Power on the remote controller. Enter the DJI Pilot app. Enter the Health Management System. Tap Management Log. Then tap the battery station log and select the corresponding log to upload. After the uploading is successful, please provide the QR code to DJI After Sales Service for analysis and troubleshooting. You can also select to store the log locally, and the data will be stored in the internal storage. Tap DJI HMS Battery Station to view details. Export with the Assistant. Go to the official DJI website. Then download and install the DJI Assistant 2 for enterprise software. Connect the BS30 Intelligent Battery Station to a computer with a USB-C cable. Click Log Export to enter the Log Export mode. It is normal to see an indication that the connection is disconnected. Enter My Computer and find the new removable disk, DJI Fly Log. Enter the disk to export the desired log file. Battery User Guide battery self-heating function. When the battery temperature is lower than 18 degrees Celsius, the batteries will automatically heat up to 18 degrees Celsius once inserted into the aircraft. Then, the batteries will stop the heating and enter insulation. After takeoff, the batteries will exit the self-heating or insulation mode automatically. Press and hold the battery button for 5 seconds to enter self-heating mode when the batteries are not inserted in the aircraft. At this time, the battery status indicator will blink automatically. After heating is complete, the battery will enter insulation. Press and hold the battery button again to return to a normal state. In low temperature environments, it is recommended to wait until the battery self-heating is done. Tips. Insulation mode lasts for 30 minutes. Battery maintenance. When the app prompts that the batteries need standard maintenance, please fully charge the batteries and let them sit for approximately 24 hours. Then, use the batteries normally until the battery level is below 20%. Take out the batteries and let them sit for one hour again. Battery maintenance should now be complete. It is recommended to perform maintenance for the batteries every 50 cycles or every three months. To improve the use experience, you can shorten the standard maintenance cycle appropriately to increase battery life. Tips. Ideally, batteries should be stored in a cool and dry place at room temperature between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius in a location away from any direct sunlight. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the Matrice 30 tutorial video. This video will show you how to update the firmware of the M30 aircraft and its remote controller. For a better flight experience, please use the latest firmware version. Update with the DJI Pilot app. Power on the remote controller and the aircraft, and make sure that they are connected normally. When the remote controller gets access to the network, the app will automatically check whether the firmware versions of the aircraft and the remote controller need to be updated. When a new firmware update prompt appears on the DJI Pilot app, tap the prompt to enter the update page. Tap Update All. Do not power off the aircraft or exit the DJI Pilot app during the update process.
It is normal that the aircraft restarts automatically during the update process. Do not turn off the aircraft. The firmware update finishes when an update successful prompt appears on the app. Offline update. Go to the download page on the Matrice 30 official webpage and tap to download the latest offline firmware update package. Copy the firmware update package to the root directory of the built-in storage or external microSD card of the remote controller. Enter the DJI Pilot app. Tap to enter the health management system. Tap Firmware Update. Tap Offline Update. Select Update Package. And tap Update All. Then, the aircraft will start to update automatically. Do not power off the aircraft or remove the SD card before completion of the update in order to avoid damage to the aircraft. The aircraft will restart automatically after the firmware update is complete. Update with DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise Connect the aircraft or the remote controller to a computer using the cable and power on the device. Open the DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise software. Log in to your DJI account. Select the connected device. Click Firmware Update on the left and wait to refresh the firmware list. Select the latest firmware and click the Update button. Do not turn off the power. Exit the DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise software or disconnect the data cable during the update process. The device will restart automatic after the firmware update is complete. If the update fails, restart the device and try again. If the aircraft fails to restart many times, please record the update failure code and contact DJI support for assistance. Thank you for watching.